The Alabama Senate moving forward with a bill that would increase fines and make penalties more severe for those who tamper with historic monuments in the state. So monuments to the Confederacy have drawn the most controversy, and there's a sharp disagreement on whether that history is worth celebrating. News 19's Dallas Parker brings you up to speed in the first half of American History in the South. An Alabama senator is proposing legislation that would increase the fine and criminal penalty for people and government agencies who relocate or damage historical monuments like the one you see here in Madison County, essentially an escalation to the state's 2017 Memorial Preservation Act. David Person, a Huntsville area community activist, says prior to the Preservation Act, there was little to no fuss about relocating Confederate monuments in Alabama. We don't have any problem with history, but we have a problem with the celebration of an immoral history, a failed history. The current law forbids the removal or alteration of monuments more than 40 years old. It also states that violations carry a one-time $25,000 fine. The new legislation sponsored by Alabama Senator Gerald Allen would up the fine to $5,000 for every day a monument is not in its original location. The bill is passed out of a Senate committee and is headed to the full Senate for consideration. After the Preservation Act was made law in 2017, the Alabama Supreme Court ruled in its favor. And one justice suggested a $25,000 fine wasn't enough of a deterrent. Allen said he followed that guidance in the current bill. The senator says his effort is about better protecting history. He tells News 19, quote, regardless of what the history is, all history has molded us, shaped us to bring us to where we are today. All history is a reflection of where we have been and where we still have to go. We can learn from it. This continual effort by either local politicians or state politicians to try to force this community and other communities to commemorate and celebrate, more importantly celebrate, the Confederacy detracts from the beauty and the blessing of our state. Allen's legislation is yet to reach the State House of Representatives. However, House Speaker Mac McCutcheon weighed in on the statewide monument controversy. I think there's a proper time and there's a proper place and the proper way for us to exhibit what our history was and bring our state forward. Um, and through that, we, we've just, we everybody's passionate and sometimes people can get so passionate on one side of the issue and, and they, they draw a line in the sand and once we get to that point, then we can no longer reason with each other. Dallas Parker, News 19. Be sure to tune in tomorrow at 6 p.m. to see the second half of the two-part series, American History in the South. And we'll take a look at how a Confederate statue here in Madison County, first commemorated 110 years ago, is still at the center of controversy ahead of the 2022 election.